So I'm here at Timothy Road Elementary with Commissioner Mike Campy. Um, so you're running again for re-election? I am, I am. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me here today, Chris. I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming out. Coming Absolutely. over here. Uh, so, uh, tell me why you're running again. Well, there's a, there's a there's a lot of reasons why I'm running again. We've got so much going on here here in Athens uh, that that uh, that have, we've kind of laid the foundation for some a lot of new splice projects, some T splice projects. But I'm really running uh, for for office again, Chris, uh, to help make Athens stronger and to help make it stronger by having a, a livable community. And by what I mean, a livable community is making sure making sure that uh, there's affordable housing, making sure that uh, there's an economy that's uh, working for everybody so, so that, so that uh, people can make a living and afford to live here, and making sure that you know, mobility is accessible, like here on Timothy Road, making sure you know, we get some transit out here on Timothy Road, some sidewalks. There's a, Jerry Neesmith and I have been talking about a, a pedestrian loop that goes all the way from uh, Macon Highway to down Mitchell Bridge Road and if we ever, if we had that opportunity, that would create a, about a 15-mile loop that w would connect all of all of Athens, and uh, and that would connect in, in a lot of ways, connect neighborhoods, connect people, and and have the other the extra mobility for Timothy Road and Mitchell Bridge Road as well. Uh, so a livable community, a skilled community, where we where we really harness our, our workforce here in town and, and get them get people ready to work and ready to ready to be. Uh, able to uh, do things at, at a moment's notice. And, and uh, we see that when, when a lot of companies come to look in Athens, they want, a, they want a good, strong workforce to be able to do that. But I also want people to have a plan B. And a plan B is, okay, so maybe you want to start your own business. And what can the government do to be a catalyst in order to help you do that? You know, we see a lot of people here in town that uh, somebody may make the best barbecue sauce ever, or somebody may make uh, some really good cookies that they're selling here locally. So I think what we need to do is look and see how we can sustain those small businesses. And we do that by, by, help, by seeing if the government could be a catalyst in some way or offer some sort of incentive or some sort of assistance to help people that are doing that, that to expand their product beyond the boundaries of Athens. So a skilled community, a livable community, a fair community where we do look at uh, equality and equity uh, and make sure that those are always part of the discussions and, and they need to be and you know uh, the storm going back to the storm and the boats are a good example you know if we're not all in the same boat you know some people are going to have a, a, a leaky boat and some are, aren't going to have have the safety net at all and uh, and and what can what role does government play what role does the community play in, in helping sure helping make sure that we're, we're thriving together as a community um, Commissioner Thornton and I started uh, working on the prosperity package as a result of these of these types of conversations, and we recognize that that uh, the prosperity package was to address our, our poverty situation here in town, and we recognize that you know poverty poverty impacts the community as a whole, and and, it, and, and if if one of our neighbors is in poverty, then then that's you know we need to we need to see what we can do to to, to help that and. And I think I think as a community, if we tackle it as a community, then then everybody as a community will benefit as well. So um, a fair community, and then also an engaged community. And, uh, and by engaged community, I mean making sure that you know neighborhoods uh, that are out here along Timothy or or elsewhere in District 10, that uh, that they we have this thing called the neighborhood notification. A lot of neighborhoods are signed up for it, and we use it primarily for a lot of zoning issues. But it could be used for other things as well. It could be used to, to let people know about different events that may be going on around town or different neighborhood events going on around town. Or, or you see where I'm going with that, stuff like that, to be a way to communicate uh, what's, happening, what's happening within, within, within town here. So, uh, uh, so doing, having a more engaged community, because I see, I see it in my own life and I see it in others too. I mean, I, every single person I've ever met here in Athens, my life, has improved by meeting people, and and uh, and I and that's that's a good thing. And I, I I think when we when you have the opportunities to meet other people and to engage uh, in the community, then then you know, you never know what what can happen. And 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 you know you may be selling the cookies and you meet a new customer that helps you helps you with that. And uh, so uh, an, an engaged community, a fair community, a skilled community, and a livable community. Are four reasons why I'm running uh, and to to help make Athens stronger in those in those regards. And great. Um, 
And uh, so, what, what do you see as your biggest accomplishment um, as a commissioner? I guess well, in the past. You time? know, I, I hope I have I hope I have a, a few of them. Uh, 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 you know, I, I think I think one of the things I'm, I'm probably most proud of. I'm proud of a lot. I'm proud of uh, I'm proud of uh, of the community. I'm, I'm proud of, of getting to know people in the neighborhoods and and uh, in District 10. Uh, I've been proud of the, of the people I work with on the commission and 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 of staff. I mean, you know, I see a group of people who try hard to, to do some to do some good for the community. Everybody at that table, we may have disagreements here and there, but everybody at that table, I think, really has and and on our staff really has uh, the 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 best intentions for Athens at heart. And I see this in our community as well. I mean, we saw it during the during the uh, during the COVID situation here, where people. Are rallying around to make sure make sure people are are, are being are being safe and, and and trying to do the right thing and supporting our local businesses during this downturn as well. So to your question, what am I most proud of? I'm proud of that, but I'm also proud of the work I've done with with neighborhoods. You know, we've had a lot of uh, neighborhoods up on Epsbridge Road up there that have that have had some some uh, some uh, potential impacts on their neighborhood from from some development. And what I'd like to see, I mean, I know development. Is, is going to happen, but I want to make sure it's the right development for for the neighborhoods around there. Something that they could walk to, something that they that they can that they also can enjoy uh, from from that standpoint. So uh, so helping helping protect the neighborhoods, helping protect neighborhoods as far as as far as traffic goes along along Timothy Road and 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 in neighborhoods. I look over here at Kingswood. It's been, uh, Kingswood's been a great neighborhood to work with, and um, you know a couple years ago. We did a, a repaving in Kingswood, and the pavement had gotten so high over the years they had to mill it down quite a bit, so um, uh, so that no one uh, would fall and get hurt on it. And they, you know, it was I was glad to see that happen. I, I also am glad when I'm able to just help individuals one on one. You know, being an issue in their neighborhood that they're dealing with, or being an issue uh, that they need help getting through some 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 sort of instances with the government. Uh, you know, I've had some small businesses I've been able to work with you know uh, I've been chair of the of the committee that helped start the community gardens uh, ordinance here in Athens the food truck ordinance here in Athens so so I always try to look for ways where I can you know not only help the neighborhoods but help help individuals do what they need to do to 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 uh, help them and what they're trying to do as far as making a living or making making their home better and 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 I'll, you know, sometimes I'm not successful at that. I don't want to. I don't want to say that. Sometimes, sometimes we we struggle trying to find a way to to, to get to get the answer that that can help. But but uh, but I hope people know I do try. Is there anything that um, maybe that, that any votes that you've made that you regret, or anything that the commission has done that you maybe didn't disagree with over the past few years? Well, yeah, I'm I'm sure there's uh, there's one that does come to mind. We did we did. Um, we did, uh, you know, we, we deal with so much on the commission with stormwater, with water rates, with, you know, right now we've got a budget that we're looking at with some, uh, uh, some property tax assessments have gone up. So we're going to be uh, next week taking a look at, taking a look at that and seeing, seeing what we, if there's, I know uh, Mayor Gertz has put in a, a millage rate reduction in there. Uh, there's, you know, there's some discussion about wh whether or not we need to look for, look for more or look for ways to to cut back on some of the some of the stuff in the budget, so that so that uh, especially during these difficult times, you know, having 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 the, as the assessments went up, that means people are going to pay more in property taxes. So what can we do on our side, be it through a, a millage rate decrease uh, or a, an extra homestead exemption, so that so that somehow or another we might get break even or, or lower it some way. So. So I say all that because uh, your question is, <laughs> I was just wanted to get that out there that we are looking at that. But another thing we're looking at, uh, uh, one of the things that I uh, had second thoughts on, and it's fixed now, was um, our um, retiree insurance program. Um, I'm head of the pension board, and um, a few years ago we passed a new retiree insurance program. And we didn't quite get it right at the beginning, but we've got it right now. And I think that vote, uh, that vote at, the, at the beginning was... Uh, was something for Sam. Hey, hey, Sam. Hey, <laughs> Good. How are you? Seeing Good seeing you, man. Yeah, picking up garbage. I see. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thanks for the sign, by the way. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. What will your top priorities be in your next term in office? Well, the top priorities I, I alluded to them a little bit earlier with the livable community, the uh, 
fair community, engaged community, and a skilled community. But I also think this, I need to mention this, you know, we've laid the foundation for a lot of a lot of things to happen here in Athens, and I find that we have to do that a lot. You lay the foundation, and it takes some time to lay the foundation, and then then you do, then you then you start doing the work. I mean, you know, I know um, um, we, we've done that all throughout, but you know, we've got a redevelopment authority that's that's ready to uh, do some things. It has done some things by by uh, putting together a redevelopment plan that has some opportunity zones for businesses. I think we have five of them here in Athens: uh, Baxter Street, Newton Street, Newton Bridge Road, and uh, Hawthorne are, are three that come to mind right away, but also um, uh, Lexington Rose one and uh, and Broad Street's one as well. But so opportunity zones uh, uh, with the redevelopment authority, the land bank authority, I think can be will be a key tool in helping us do some affordable housing stuff. So I think moving forward though, laying these foundations, we laid the foundations, and the voters actually laid the foundation this time around when they passed PLOS, and they they did it. Uh, and I'm glad they did because one of the things that's going to come out of that is affordable housing, $45 million. That's huge for Athens because what is what it's going to do, you know, I've read where Seattle gives about $60 million to affordable housing. D.C. is probably around 50 or so. So so Athens given 45, doing $45 million for affordable housing, that's a lot of money per capita. And it's a, it's a big and it's a good needed investment. So getting that off the ground and running is going to be is going to be a, a, a top priority. Also, the municipal the uh, municipal municipal center <laughs> that didn't come out right for me, but the municipal center uh, is is another key factor because Chris, what that's going to do is it's going to free up the buildings like over in Satula we have finance over in uh, the planning department uh, you've seen where we've got planning uh, and also our code enforcement and our and our transportation and public works. So you move all of those into the existing courthouse, we'll build a new courthouse, everything, all these other departments go into the existing courthouse. Then what you've done is you've created a one-stop shop for citizens to be able to access their government. You have all of these things going into the municipal center, but then what it does is it frees up these buildings uh, for public-private uses that you could that you can then go back to, remember at the beginning I was talking about the small businesses and the barbecue and the cookies. Then you have a place where people could go and and, and, and produce those or and have those makerspace areas where where they could do that or a creative incubator. Can, can't you just imagine around City Hall there, the buildings around City Hall uh, becoming a creative sort of space? I mean, and what kind of story would that tell that you have buildings uh, that, that are producing I- income for people and producing income for the community and and uh, providing uh, goods and services and and all around city hall I, I think that would i think that would just tell a tell a good story for this community but i also think in moving forward you know we got to figure out the virus and and what the new normals if what is a new normal and what does that look like and i don't know i don't know i'm still trying to figure that out are we still you know, how long are we going to have to stand six feet apart in order to do an interview like this where you may not be able to hear me very well or or, or, the, or the lighting's not very good. But uh, uh, but how long are we going to have to, you know, uh, go get our food from the restaurants to go and, and, and such as that? I know you can go in there right now, but but when are we going to when is everybody going to want to want to start doing that uh, again? And when when is it appropriate to start doing that again? And what is it? What is the economy going to look like when all this is? Is said and done, and how do we how do we get it back on track and fix it? I don't know the answers to that. I welcome the discussion. Do you feel our local government is adequately funded right now? Um, and if not, how would you change that? And are there some taxes you like or dislike more than others? Well, you know, I don't think anybody likes taxes uh, one way or the other. So, and I mentioned that we're going to be talking about the budget uh, uh, just a few minutes ago. So we'll start those discussions next week. I think Kelly uh, Mayor Gertz has it. Uh, where we're voting on it in the middle part of uh, middle part of June. Um, so I, um, with this budget, I did mention the property tax assessments went up. That means that you know property taxes went up. So uh, so I think we've got to figure out figure out what the how much uh, I know our tax digest grew by seven percent. Out of that seven percent, it grew by seven point nine percent actually. And out of that seven point nine percent, two point three percent was was. Uh, grew as a result of new construction and 5.6 percent grew as a result of reassessment of, of, uh, of homes here in Athens. So so uh, 
I kind of I'd like for us to see what we can do to to Mayor Gertz has put in a, a, a millage rate reduction. We, uh, we need to see see how how that impacts the assessments on the homeowners here in Athens, or how how does how it doesn't impact the assessment, but how it impacts the property taxes that they're paying uh, from from that standpoint. So. Um, so, and we also need to make sure that you know during this during this downturn in the economy, that that we need to be prepared to to do some things for uh, homeowners and for local businesses to help them get back get back on their feet. So, so to answer your question about all this, uh, w we need to make sure that the, the budget covers those things. So seeing what we can do to to lower it's always it's always a tricky balance. You know, what can we do to lower lower the tax burden on people, but also provide the services that, that the people also expect. So, so and, uh, and I, hope we can, I hope we can meet that challenge. And why should voters choose you over your opponent? Well, you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just tell them why they should choose me. So uh, I'd like to, like to uh, stay, stay positive in that regards because who has my opponent, Noah. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna say his name. I was watching an episode of West Wing uh, the other night trying to fall asleep and, uh, Jeb Bartlett was talking about somebody told him not to say his opponent's name. And he goes, why did I not say my opponent's name? I mean, everybody knows my opponent's name. It makes me look silly if I, so Noah's a good guy, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the voters will allow me to serve another four, four, four years on the commission because, because I, 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 hope I've, I've hope I've served them well. I hope I've worked hard. I hope I helped them address some neighborhood issues, some traffic issues, some zoning issues some uh, budget issues uh, and, and, and for, for the community. And I also, hope, uh, you know, I also hope I'm able to address some of the bigger issues that we need to address, like making sure that everybody has, has, a, good, has a good boat to help them get through the storm or help them figure out how to get through the storm. Uh, I'm hoping we can address some issues on, on healthcare so that we can work with our state officials to, to expand Medicaid so that, so that you, this whole this whole situation has made us look at, at things that uh, we knew we needed to look at, and this has kind of kind of really pushed a lot of it to the to the front burner as far as healthcare, transit, and, and small business and, and uh, neighborhood support. So I hope the voters uh, know that I've worked hard. I hope I, I hope they see that I'm, I like to to think about ideas and to figure out ways to make those ideas happen. Uh, their ideas or, or anybody's ideas really and make sure that they happen if they if they're benefiting the community because I like to be able to to, to do that and I've, I, I think I've, I've been good at seeing idea see it taking an idea and, and bringing it to uh, fruition uh, I, I feel like I've been a good problem solver for things uh, on the, on the commission but I also think I, I think also what I've tried to do is I haven't tried to do I, I try to do things with people and, and, and for people. And um, I find partnerships in order to do that. It's not, it's not always just me. It's not ever about me. It's always about the work. I don't always try to be, I don't always try to be the loudest one in the room, but I do try to do the, I do listen and I do try to do the work and make sure that I find the partnerships and, and work on building those partnerships in order to, to, to do good things for people and the community. So uh, with that said, I, I do ask for your vote uh, June 9th. June 9th. Oh, so, thank you. Okay, Is awesome. that good? Well, uh, All right. So Thanks, Chris. Yeah.